Dakota Access Pipeline is a pipeline that goes 1,200 miles, uh, taking Bakken uh, crude oil from the northwest side of North Dakota down to Illinois. And we uh, were brought, made, made aware of this uh, in 2014, and our biggest concern was it, was, it, it crossed the Missouri River twice. Uh, once north of uh, once in Lake Sakakwea and once north of our reservation, uh, and and right away when we first learned of it, we said we don't want this, we don't want it here. Uh, but it's a private pipeline from private uh, a private company out of Dallas, Texas, and so there's there's a, a big corporation, Energy Transfer Partners out of Dallas, who are making decisions. Uh, for this state and for North Dakota, for my reservation, and they have no uh, sensitivity or no uh, acknowledgement of what is in place. All they see is uh, dollar signs and greed. So we are um, not happy with this private-based company. Uh, there are portions of this pipeline that cross federal lands, like uh, water, and so they have to get permits, but they they get easements on private property, and the private landowners who do not approve of the pipeline, there's an eminent domain taking. So it, the, the landowners where the pipeline crosses are kind of have their hands tied. But in the federal permit permitting process, uh, and it's like of the 1,200 miles, 200 waterways, maybe 300 miles are on federal lands. That's what we're saying. If we can't do anything on the private lands, we're gonna we're gonna ask the federal agencies to reconsider and take a look at this because we never had the opportunity to express our concerns 